Yo, what's up? My name's Dayton, and I'm a snowboarder. But more importantly, I'm a fashion expert. Now, I've been doing my studying. I've been doing my research. I've seen many days worth of snowboarding edits and uh, snowboarding videos to know an expert understanding on the current state of fashion within the industry. So today, I'm going to give you a complete breakdown of the current state of fashion. Now, you may be asking yourself, if this dude's an expert, why does he look so goofy on the hill? And that's a fair question. But primarily, it's because I don't have the funds, because I'm fiscally responsible. So after many hours of research, I determined you can separate the current state of fashion within snowboarding into three categories. Minimalist, grungy, and flashy. Now these three categories interact in almost some Venn diagram. You can group any sort of outfit, any kind of brand, somewhere along this Venn diagram for the most part. Obviously there's outliers, obviously you shouldn't take this Venn diagram too seriously. Obviously I'm not an expert of fashion, but with that being said, let me show you where the brands lie on this chart. I'll start off with my definition of the minimalist outfit. Uh, this is a standard tried and true outfit for snowboarding. It is a very fresh, a very clean look. The point of rocking the minimalist look is to really let your riding do the talking. And this is very popular with backcountry riders, big air riders. If you have the style to make your riding as clean as your minimal fit, then you are, you're a blessing on the mountain. All right, next up we have quite the opposite the flashy fit. Now the flashy fit brings attention to you. With that being said, the flashy fit is very bold. It can be kind of problematic for two reasons. You need to be pretty good to pull off the flashy look. Nothing is more cringy than seeing like some dude in a pink ski mask hitting boxes. He has a backpack speaker on. Like he just like looks like an absolute tool in his pink ski mask. But Sam Klein, he can rock a, a ski mask. You need to be you need to be pretty good at snowboarding to rock it. Otherwise you're just gonna look like a tool. And then lastly you have the grungy hesh look. You know very much so influenced by current skate fashion. You see a lot of us uh, straight snowboarders rock this look very much like kind of a thrifted kind of vibe very dark colors but you will be looking pretty stylish and pretty pretty hesh on the mountain you know it's a cool look yeah so these three categories are extremely broad but i'd say you could fit the majority of the current snowboarding fits that you see on instagram and in like the snowboarding youtube videos you can fit them somewhere on this venn diagram starting off with burton burton is a very minimal look they know what they're going for this is as minimal as it gets very clean very fresh it is the definition of letting your riding do the talking and you know just being comfortable and whatnot yeah burton is right here in minimal there's a company that is even more minimal than them and it's almost too minimal and that is white space sean white's company yeah, i'm talking about mountain dews baby uh <laughs> all right this to me isn't even snowboarding this is just way too minimal uh nothing really interesting or fun going on about this this kind of just looks like an astronaut suit if you want to look like an astronaut for 800 bucks and then sean white is your guy but yeah, Sean White is almost too minimal. He belongs way up here. Next up, we have Five. Five is a company based in Australia. I'm pretty sure they have the baggiest pants in the game. They're very good at being both, both flashy and minimal. It's definitely much more on the flashy side, but it's not, it's not like annoying, you know? Very cool pink pants here. You got some, some white, some black flames on the side of the shirt. Yeah, this is, this is pretty sick. Five has some cool stuff and, and you definitely will stand out, but in a, in a very good way, rocking, rocking the five. They belong right in between minimalist and flashy and they're, they're close to grungy too, but they're definitely more on the flashy side so that they belong right here on this line. Next up, my favorite snowboard company, Goodwill. Now Goodwill has cheap stuff. You know, it's kind of hard to find when you're when you're in there thrifting around, but you can find some pretty cool stuff and absolutely not pay anything for it. You will probably be looking pretty cool. So Goodwill as grungy as Hesh as it gets. 32. Now 32, it's pretty sporty looking, you know, they, they're very technical. I'd suppose they got some dark colors. They have some camo stuff. These pants look pretty baggy and, and pr pretty, uh, pretty grungy honestly but yeah they also have some 
some flashy stuff. I think in general, 32 is just in between grungy and flashy. When I think of 32, I think of Zeb Powell and I think of his like fire boots that literally have flames on them. Zeb Powell is much more flashy than the whole 32 brand in general. He belongs right here. The pink ski mask, you guys already know how I feel about the pink ski mask. If you're if you're a woman, then yeah, rock, rock a pink ski mask. Uh, if you're a dude, you need to be really, really good in order to pull it off. And the only person that can pull it off, in my opinion, at least a pink one, is Sam Klein. And Sam Klein is as flashy as it gets. He's cool, he's in the streets, he's rocking the ski mask. He's in the same category as Zeb Powell. Actually, hold up. Sam Klein's almost more flashy with his style than Zeb Powell. Next up, we have Candy Grind Mitts. I'm only doing the mitts. They're very colorful, you know, they're cool, they stand out. Uh, they might be the flashiest mitt company in the game. And they, they, have, they have outer apparel as well, but I'm only basing it off the mitts. Candy Grind belongs right here. All right, North Face, they know what they're doing. They're very minimal, a lot of dark colors. They have some colors that kind of stand out, you know, your reds, your greens, but for the most part, you know, nothing really, nothing really pops out about North Face, which is, which is something a lot of riders get behind. North Face is like a perfect combination of like Burton and like Sean White's like crazy minimalist look. I think they do what Sean White is trying to do but they actually do it good so Burton kind of down here and and North Face is pretty minimal but they do it in a very good way this isn't dope industries this is just an all black look all black skier or snowboarder I think he's trying to be grungy but just wearing all black clothes is much more minimal than grungy in my opinion so I'm gonna put that right on the cusp right here of being in between minimal and grungy, but much more on the minimal side. The Dust Box, probably one of my uh, favorite snowboarding crews there is. They're from the Midwest. They make spots work. They're creative with their spots and their clothes are freaking cool. They're as grungy and as core as they get. They rock the Iowa drip. I dig it. I dig the Dust Box. They're right next to Goodwill in terms of coolness factor. All right, goggles. I'm just gonna go off of goggles in general, not any brand per se. I think a lot of people think goggles would be on the flashy side. You can't really stand out too much with goggles just because everyone's wearing them. So even even if they're red or green or, you know, some crazy color and you think, you think you're super cool in your goggles. You like everyone's wearing them, bro. You don't stand out. Goggles are pretty, pretty minimal. If you really want to stand out with like what you wear over your eyes, I think sunglasses or just not wearing anything at all is kind of how you stand out. I think the bum fucks. <laughs> what Jake Aronson like promotes so much on his Instagram. They're probably the most like grungy and hesh sunglasses in the game, mainly just because of Jake Aronson himself. Jake Aronson's banned from resorts and he sells sunglasses. That's pretty grungy, man. He belongs right here with the bum fucks, the dust box, and Goodwill. Next up we have Pit Vipers. Pit Vipers are flashy. I see a lot of people wear Pit Vipers on the hill. Pit Vipers are probably as far away from grungy and hesh as possible so they belong right here in this corner next up we have volcom let me run through their website real quick they're pretty minimal obviously not as minimal as burton or north face they have a they have a few products that stand out they kind of have that like hippie kind of vibe like a minimal hippie aesthetic. I wouldn't say they're they're necessarily grungy. Volcom is kind of in between uh grungy and minimal in my opinion. You have Arthur Longo on Volcom. You know, I want to say Arthur Longo is a grungy guy. He just kind of jumps as high as humanly possible and somehow lands everything he ever sends. I'm going to put Volcom right in between uh minimal and hesh. Next up we have DC. DC has my favorite snowboarders on their team. They have Horgmo. They have the guy from uh, Japan, Ryo. Current stuff they're selling now is just kind of boring to me. And, and I hate saying that. 
like i love dc this stuff they're selling now is just i uh, i don't see the appeal to it you know like that is a horrible color that's disgusting uh yeah i mean that's too orange i guess it's flashy i i don't know i don't know if dc they seem like they're not really dialed in right now i'm gonna put dc right here they have some flashiness to them they have some minimalist to them at the heart, DC is very grungy and hash, you know, it would be the brand that Jesse Pinkman wears. Yeah, right now, the current state of the stuff they're selling is just kind of, it's kind of uninspiring, in my opinion. Uh, 686, they're like DC right now, but even worse. The only thing I like with 686 is these lime green blotchy bibs and jackets that they're selling. I've seen a lot of clips on like Instagram of somebody rocking these and just hucking crazy stuff with them. And yeah, it's cool. That's the only thing they have going for them. Everything else is just like, these pants are super boring. This is pretty lame. 686 is literally selling a spaceman suit. Brent, thanks for coming on. NASA, how the heck do you do a collaboration with NASA? Man, I don't, honestly, I don't even know. <laughs> this is amazing. Together. Yeah, it's really amazing to be able to work with one of the top like agencies in the world, yeah. you know? <laughs> that is the opposite of core and grungy, you know? That's just, uh, that's pretty lame. I'm not a fan of looking like a spaceman when I'm riding a snowboard. Maybe you are, not me personally. Uh, they also have weird ass hippie pants. 686 is going through a bit of an identity crisis and I don't like it. Maybe you do. That's why we all have opinions. But yeah, they, they belong right in the middle. Finally, Air Blaster. Uh, Air Blaster is just, they're 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 pretty wild man they got crazy colorful fits kind of flamboyant kind of fruity but they don't stray away from what they are they know they're flashy they're colorful they're wild they will make you stand out on the mountain they belong with the pink ski mask they belong with sam klein zeb powell they're more flashy than zeb powell definitely but yeah they they belong right here I'm sorry if I forgot to leave out any brands. These are just the brands that I personally enjoy and that I know of. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. This is definitely something I've never done before. I kind of wanted to do like a tier list style video, but not a tier list video because I've seen so many of those on YouTube. Finally just finished editing that video. If you made it this far, congrats. You have an amazing attention span. Obvious disclaimer, no one carries what you wear on the mountain. Do whatever you want when you ride. No one gives a crap. If you're curious about my sense of fashion and what I rock while snowboarding, you can watch either of these two videos. Uh, yeah, go ahead, roast me in the comments, make fun of my shitty outfits and my shit style. I highly encourage you to do so.